Welcome to Tiger Stop. Today we're going to show you how to scale a saw gear. So we're going to run through scaling a saw gear. Three things will affect the scale on a saw gear. Uh, the first is the belt tension. The second is the actual scale number in the settings. And the third is the working length. The only thing that you're really going to want to adjust to adjust your scale is the working length. So we're going to show you how to access that, uh, to change that, and to see what your scale number is. Uh, in addition, we're going to calibrate uh, to make sure that we're accurate at a short distance. Okay, so to do that, we're going to go ahead and calibrate. So calibrate, we want to move into a short distance. So I'm going to move it in to five inches. Cut that same piece. And we'll check our measurement. So we're at 5.575. We're going to hit the calibrate button and enter in 5.575 and press start. So we should be good there now. What I'm going to do is move into five to check. Trim that piece once more. And check to make sure that we're accurate. And we are exactly at 5.0. So scale is something that will affect your measurement as you move out. Once you calibrate and you're good at that close distance, if your scale is off, that means that any measurement further and further out will get progressively worse. Meaning that if you're okay at five inches and you move out to three foot, you may be off by a, an eighth of an inch. And then if you move out to six foot, you may be off at a quarter of an inch. That is very indicative of a scale issue. So what we're gonna do to adjust that is go into our working length and we're going to adjust that up and down uh, depending on which direction our measurement is off by. So to get into scale, you wanna unplug the saw gear, plug that back in. We're gonna hit the soft power key and then directly after we're gonna press the calibration button three times. That brings us to our working length. To adjust scale, what we do is typically raise or lower our working length by 0 .003, uh, depending on how far it's off. So we're gonna go ahead and raise this by 0 .003 and put that at 48.560. So 48.560. We're gonna press start. Next, it's going to our scale, and we want to leave that alone and press start. And then we have a couple other settings for throttle that we'll leave alone as well, pressing start to get through those. And then we'll get to the home screen here, so press start to move. At this point, what we're going to want to do is bring that into a short distance and calibrate. So run it into five inches or so, make your cut, get your calibration. Then to check your scale to make sure that you're accurate, you'll want to move out to a long distance and check your measurement there and adjust as necessary.